All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Brad, and today I think I scheduled the live stream for two days ago on accident, but I meant to put today, so I, I'm unsure. I know I got the Newton runner here. Um, if you're still here, just leave a comment. Uh, today I got I got I'm a Newton ambassador. It's my second year as a Newton ambassador, so you get like four pair of shoes a year. So I got my first two pair um, the other day. Hold on one second. All right. So I am going to wait a few minutes and just kind of talk a little bit before I just unbox them. Um, I'd like to talk about how I even got connected with Newton uh, a little bit about the shoes, especially the ones that are that have came out in 2021. Um, they are a little bit unique. They have a unique quality to them that I think uh, should be appreciated. But just to give you an update, I have got the new gear in. Uh, I have definitely been using it. It is so far, I think it's going to be a game changer. I'm still learning how to use it um, with the ones with the settings and figuring out how to, you know, get the mic to sound right and that sort of thing. But, you know, it's a little bit, it's a, a lot more bulkier than the GoPro. So this is what I've been using for like the past year and a half. And now, uh, walking around in public with this, somebody's definitely going to be like, Hey, you got a YouTube channel. If I was filming it on vacation or anything like that with this kids were always like, do you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> All right. You got my cat. This is Mimi. Her real name is Minnie, but we call her Mimi. And I'm surprised she's even let me pick her up. All right. Well, let's see. I want to go into how I got involved with Newton. All right. I think it's a pretty cool story. And when all this is... Uh, when I finish with today, I'll put some video links in the description. But um, so in 2019, uh, we were on vacation um, in Jekyll Island in Georgia. And I get a message from, yes, I got a trap. Tr I got a cat trip. And I'm just about to talk about you, actually. This is Mimi. Yeah, I got a cool dog, too. Let me go get him. All right. So, I do have a dog. This is Remy. Go put him back and sleep. All right. So... 2019. So I have trip here. Uh, trip is a, one of my best friends. He, we went to college together in about Austin and we've kept in touch over the years. Well, in 2019, uh, I got accepted to run Chicago marathon and I started training for it. Got the idea to start documenting it. Well, did not even know it. My buddy Tripp was watching my YouTube videos all the way in like Afghanistan. And um, he then mowed me like 130 bucks and said, hey, you need to try these shoes. And I, before that, I'd never heard of Newton running. And um, so he sent me the money over. I bought me a pair of Newton Fate Fives, uh, which I still do have. And my first run in them, I actually ran a half marathon and set a PR. But um they've been a great pair of running shoes. So when 
I got up to the Chicago Marathon, uh, went to the expo, saw a Newton running booth, and uh, talked to Laura Tingle, who was actually the like Newton ambassador go-to person. And she said, hey, you need to apply to be an ambassador. And so I was like, sure, why not? So I did it, got accepted. And that's a pretty much all I wear is Newton shoes, unless I have my dad yard shoes, my yard work shoes. I have not did yard work in a pair of Newtons yet. But um, so that's how I got connected with Newton. This is my second year as an ambassador for them. I do want to share some of my favorite Newton shoes. So last year, this is my, uh, this is the Newton Boko. Um, this is the four, it's an all terrain shoe. They actually have the five out now, but this is the four. Um, I do like this one. It has recently became like my go to shoe just to wear. Um, I don't have like a lot of running miles on them actually, but uh, I just don't do a lot of trail running. I actually ran my first trail race. Um, in January and so and I have done a go ruck event in them and I do do like f3 workouts in these shoes but um so far but I don't know something about the shoe lately maybe I've just like really gotten a broke in but uh, this has been my go-to shoe and it looks cool I, I love the Newton colors so this is one I've been wearing lately um, my favorite shoe has been the Newton Gravity. Now, I don't wear this particular one anymore, but this was a this was, shoe did me really good. Um, if you can see the tread there, it is pretty much gone. Now, just check out the lugs. These, let me show you. All right, I got these. These are the distance. Um, distance nines. Yeah, these are the Gravity nines. And then I also had the distance signs and you can still, there's still some tread on this one. Uh, I wore these out. I mean, the rubber's coming off. Um, the sole is so worn out, like it makes suction sounds when I'm walking on a, uh, like a, a floor. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Have a cat, yep. All right, so the Newton runner, stoked, looking forward to it. But, um, yeah, the Newton 9, this has been my shoe right here. Now, like I said, I got the Newton Distance 9. This is like the solar flare uh, color scheme. I, now, this one still has a lot of tread on it, and there's a reason why, and it's going to kind of lead up to the shoes that I'm about to unbox. All right. So, um, like late in the year last year, I got, so you only get four as an ambassador, you only get like four pair of shoes and that's kind of, uh, part of the, part of the gig. So you don't get any more than that unless you purchase them. Well, I got a package in the mail and it was these, I was told not to really say anything about it, not to post about it. Uh, that I was told just to put a lot of miles on them, which I did. You can see, I think I have over 220 miles on them at least. Um, they're, they're worn out. Still see the lugs there, but um, it's been pretty good. The back heel starting to get some wear too, but this has been a great shoe as well. Uh, there is some differences. This is a Gravity 9. This is a Gravity 9. Um, one of the first noticeable differences I got in the shoe was the heel cup it has much more cushion in it than this one here and what's special about this shoe is that it's made of recycled materials so this shoe is basically biodegradable um, I will pull up the article here in a second that has um, shows talks a little more about how the uh, Newton shoes are built this go around but the Newton Gravities are my favorite. I love them. It is a very comfortable shoe. It's just got cushion all the way around it. So 
Just kind of give you a flex test here. All that, yeah. Good shoe. All right. Um, if you had, does anybody have any questions about Newton shoes before I get to it? All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this screen uh, right here. I'm going to pull up the new spring 2021 sustainability line. And I'm just going to read it, read something off of here for you. All right, so it says right here, Newton is taking plastic bottles out of landfills and utilizing them in laces and upper mesh of each shoe. Each pair will use four water bottles worth of recycled plastic. The soles also feature EcoPure, a biodegradable plastic additive that is designed to help reduce the amount of waste and plastics in our environment. So it says an average shoe can take a, like 40 years to biodegrade. Um, so... Newton has taken, you know, the, they're doing a good thing for the environment and, you know, and use it in their shoes. And one, like, like I said, in this shoe, one of the first things I noticed was uh, the heel cup is, has a much more cushion. And also they sent um, an extra sole. So these came with it. Let me see if I got the other one. All right, so these were the soles that came in the shoe, and these were the extra ones. And I ran like 60 miles in the uh, in these before I switched them out. And the first thing you notice when you fill these, these are these are a little bit thicker, okay? And these are, you know, made from recycled materials. These that came in the shoe, uh, nothing wrong with them, but they are thinner um, than this one, okay? So that's one thing I kind of want to see when um, I unbox these shoes. If, if, if you see how the, uh, I'm going to pull the soles out and just see how they are as well. All right. So let's do it. So I got this big old package in the mail. It's always a good day when you get something like this in the mail. All right, so the first shoe that we are going to unbox is, all right, this is the Newton Gravity 9, or 10, excuse me, Newton Gravity 10. You can see they went to a Roman numeral 10 up here on the shoe tab. Now, there's something special about this red and black. That's Georgia Bulldogs, Go Dogs, and it wouldn't be a Newton shoe if you couldn't see it from a mile away. So you got the neon yellow with the, uh, on the sole here and then the lettering on the side. You know, these Newton shoes are just really breathable. It's one thing I really like about them. Oh, okay, let's just check this out. All right, so right here in, it lets you know that, hey, this shoe is uh, made from four water bottles. All right, so I'm gonna compare these soles real quick. What did I do with them? All right. All right, so this one, this was definitely like a prototype because it had like no lettering or anything on it. All right, so this is definitely a prototype. This one has Newton on it and kind of a shape of a foot on the bottom of it. Size 12, that's what I wear. All right, and there's a little bit closer where it says uh, Newton's latest equation for water bottles equals two pair of shoes there we go all right so i don't know people should love that i think that's giving back there okay there's the inside of the shoe without the um it's just like a foam or something all right um let me get the i'm gonna compare this to the the nines all right one thing Okay, it looks like two pieces. All right, this looks a little bit deeper than this one, but this one could just be wore out. It's pretty much the same layout on the back there. You see how much I wore these lugs out. All right. 
you can see the lugs there there then there barely any <laughs> all right so uh, one thing that makes you unique is the lug system it's kind of like a trampoline um, on your foot so I do have some old Newtons now. Maybe I should cut one in half and just see what see what it looks like. I think that would uh all right. And the Newton runner says I like how the tin is written like this. Oh, let me see. Oh, golly, I didn't even notice that. Okay, I just saw an X there and saw that. Um that is that is pretty cool. Yeah. That is creative. There you go, Newton. Good job. All right. So that is a Newton Gravity. I can't wait to run in these. These are these are really cool. Uh, I, I'm loving this shoe right here. This is probably going to be my favorite. Well, I take that back. This next one, I love the way this next one looks. But they will both get a lot of miles in them. All right. All right, let's go with the second one that I got. It's just it's gonna be hard to beat both these shoes. Like I don't know what other one I'm gonna get after this. All right, so the next shoe is I just love this color scheme. I had to get it. Uh, red, white, and blue. I'm sure um, these colors are mainly after the Colorado um, flag, state flag. That's what I thought of when I first saw it. But it's also red, white, and blue. So, which is cool. And I just, I love the, uh, kind of like how they mix it up here. The mesh feels, let me see, I'm compare the mesh. Where's my other one? All right. All right. The mesh on this one is, is softer. Feels like, just like my other. Okay, the distance. All right, I will say the distance on this one. It does feel about the same. Uh, I love how this bleeds in there. This one kind of just changes. That's just that's the difference between the two distances. And also, uh, right here, it also has the same thing with the tin. So this is a distance tin. It is a recycled image. The sole is also got the um, four water bottles on it. Very breathable. I mean, it's like um, I think uh, when I first the first Newton video I did, uh, I compared the shoe to a screened in porch, and that's what that reminds me of. It's very breathable. I mean, it's just you can almost see through it. But that's a good looking shoe. I, I can't wait to wear that. Let's check out the bottom here. These lugs feel thicker than the. Oh, they're about the same. The tread is different on the lugs I did not realize that on my earlier models there's a difference on the bottom there I can't wait to uh, run in these I will say I got a little bit of IT band syndrome when I uh, did my first trail race I did not train on trails and I really didn't train to run a half, half marathon but I I think I would have did fine if I just practiced more on trails. But it was still a fun experience. I have not been running lately, but I'm feeling much better now. So I think um, this is just this one reason I went ahead and get ordered these because I'm ready to get back running more. And the hardest question is which one do I run at first? Um, well, I. Uh, that's it for the uh, unboxing of the shoes. That's all I got. Um, leave a comment on which one you like the best. Uh, both great looking shoes. It's hard to choose from. I think look wise, I'm really digging this. I know comfort wise, I didn't. I mean, comfort wise, this is my favorite. And just to kind of one reason I don't have a lot of miles on these distances is because after I ordered them, 
Newton sent me these and wanted to said just put a lot of miles on them, so I did. So I pretty much didn't run in these at all. I think I got like 50 something miles on them, and that's it. So these are still in really good condition. I guess I can just hold on to them. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you sticking with me here. And leave a comment below and tell me which Newtons you like the best, which ones, and leave a comment and tell me if you've ever ran in Newtons. They're, it's a great running shoe. They're out of Boulder, Boulder Colorado, and uh, they've just been really great to work with um, as far as being an ambassador and um, just a lot of cool people. So go check them out. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, go ahead and do that and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated. Um, like I said, I just got a got a new rig here, so I am about to really pump out some videos. Um, YouTube has became, as I described the other day, as a passion project. So it's something that I've been really passionate about, and I'm enjoying uh, making videos. And I got the Newton runner on here. Um, Go give him a follow. He also has a YouTube channel and um, did a really cool video on on a treadmill on um, running at different paces. And I watched it the other day. I was like, that's just a genius idea for a video. But I liked seeing how fast he was going on that treadmill when he changed the, uh, like, went different paces, like a five-minute pace. I mean, that's fast. Just think about running a marathon at that. I don't know. It's crazy. But, um, Anyways, thanks, Newton Runner, Trip. Um, if you're still watching, I miss you, man. Uh, my buddy Trip's in Germany. He's the one that got me into Newton Running. And so um, we're kind of hoping we can do something maybe down the road together as far as YouTube goes. So, um, all right, Trip. Good to see you, buddy. And uh, love y'all. And see you in the next video. I'm out.